Hassan is alive and kicking. Deja vu, isn't this? This is just what happened first time round. It was for for yep. Frankie to mug Carl in the first race. He wants to do it again, that's for sure. That's what he's going to be lining up. Yep. And we have places out the back here where Frankie is, for me, a lot faster than Carl. Got a way to go before we get to them. This is where Carl's OK around this part of the track. But as soon as we get to the run into home, that's where Keeley's very, very quick indeed. Now then, Carl Fogarty was unhappy that Keeley mugged him on the last lap of the first race today at Assen. He will be looking to make a block on Keeley if he can. And I reckon, again, it's going to be down to that last bend on the circuit. They are going to be side by sides almost certain because they're too close not to be. How many times have we said that at Aston in Superbikes and Grand Prix? There's the third place dice, you just saw it, slight still heading Troy Corsa. Right, now watch Keeley. Keeley, oh. oh, and that's significant, that is now onto the back straight. Keeley will get a run then at Carl Fogarty because Fogarty was sideways on, he couldn't get the drive as the bike's going sideways, so Keeley's going to be closing in, closing in. Here he comes. Fogarty sits on Keeley. Does he push him out? Whoa, that is close. Keeley couldn't pass him. I'm surprised at that. Foggy got it all spinning at the back wheel. But now is the part of the circuit where Keeley gets good. Did Keeley have to knock off as well when Carl went sideways? Don't think so. He might have done briefly, but I don't think so. Not from where he was at the time. He was on the outside of Carl Fogarty. Fogarty really oh, looking too much over his shoulder. There. He does know he's there. He's looking over his shoulder too much as far as I'm concerned. He never normally does that, Carl. That's worrying. And the team are worried. They're all watching. Right, Keeley now got just a few bends to do it. If you, oh, oh, look at that. speed. Round the outside of Fogarty. Fogarty sits up. Oh, dear me. Stays in front. I'm amazed at that because it looked from our camera angle like Keely had gone past him. He Keely's gone past him now. Right, the last corner. It's this long, long left-hander. And then the chicane. That's where it's all going to happen. Keely leads. Fogarty now into the break. On the inside. Area. Fogarty up the inside of the brakes. Yes. Carl goes through. Oh, oh no. Keely goes down. Keely bites a dirt. He didn't deserve that, Keith. He didn't deserve it, but Carl Fogarty deserved the win. And he got it. A win for Foggy, slight inherited second, Corsa got third, Colin Edwards fought through that battle at the back to take fourth place. Pierre Francesco Keeley did his best to get his bike out of the sand, it did him no good whatsoever. David Tadotzi and Michaela Fogarty celebrate Carl Fogarty's win at Assen and of course that bumps him right up the order in the championship. Carl stays third in the championship but only six points behind the leader Troy Corsa and guess what Aaron Slight is only half a point behind Troy Corsa. What a way to end the championship. Two races left. We go to Sugo with just half a dozen points separating the top three men. Keeley is now effectively out of the championship. The 10th year of World Superbike Racing could be the best ever. It's going to go right down to the wire. Fogarty leaves a smokescreen for his fans and pretty much a smokescreen for the rest of the competitors today here at Assen. But that last lap was the dramatic one. Fogarty looks concerned. There has been a bit of a contraton, I think we can say. Oh, that's fair. Down in pit lane between Fogarty and Keeley. Keeley is not happy with what happened on the last lap. And we can take another look at it, as the fans did as well. Fogarty round the outside of Keeley. They didn't touch at all. Keeley just lost it on the brakes on the last turn. It was a harsh penalty for a very small mistake. But I'm afraid Franke fell off all on his own. The argument apparently is about what happened earlier on in the lap, but neither Keith nor myself nor any other rider I've talked to saw anything wrong with that.